What is happening, everybody, on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video, another live hangout video. And in today's video, we're going to be scanning the sold listings, doing some research. And to be more specific, we're going to be researching ties because this is an area that I really need to um, step my game, game up on, something I need to learn more about and uh, just educate myself so if I ever find myself in a position to buy ties, which I am starting to do because I've been looking through them, I, I can actually find the right brands at the right prices, the right style so I can make money buying and selling these on eBay. So um, before we get into this video, I just want to do a little mic check. I want to make sure that everybody could, first of all, hear me clearly, and secondly, you could see my screen. Because this video, I'm going to be sharing my screen. Um, I'm going to be sharing the eBay.com page, and we're going to be going through a bunch of items that sold. Probably about a half-hour hangout. So uh, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know if you could one hear me, and two, you can actually see my screen. I don't want you to see my face right now, and uh, there's a few reasons for that. Like I said, but we're going to be looking at the screen, we're studying it up, and secondly, I look like uh, a hot mess right now. I'm pretty exhausted, but um. You know, this is what I like to do. I like to study the completed listings, the sold listings before I go to bed, you know, absorb some new information, educate myself, and just, you know, better my odds of making money in this business because education is really the difference between the winners and the losers, how much knowledge you have. So I'm going to go into the, uh, the comments section and um, let's see if I could figure this out. Bear with me for one moment. One moment, folks. Just going to get into the comment section and check some comments. I'm actually looking on my other computer right now. So I just want to shout some people out and make sure that everybody can hear me all right. Also, let me know. Feel free to let me know. You know how things have been going with you. How's the day been going? Did you go picking? If you did, did you find anything you know interesting? Anything profitable? Anything uh, Anything worth mentioning? And um, all right, I'm looking in the comments. It looks like nobody's commented yet. I'm not sure if there's anybody in the room. <clears throat> All right, we got Harold Rumetz in the house. What is happening, my friend? Said sounds good, looks good. All right, so I guess um things are you know ready to roll. So I'm gonna just start moving into this uh, broadcast and start scanning some items and doing some research. If you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section below under the YouTube video. I don't really know how to work the Google chat right now. I will eventually, but if you have a comment or a concern or just a statement, maybe you found something cool at the thrift store, leave them below. I'll shout you guys out and uh, we'll get into that in a second. But um, with that out of the way, let's get into some research and uh, look into some ties. So the first thing I am going to be doing is scrolling down the left sidebar and I'm going to customize it so I have certain items popping up that I am likely to find at the thrift store, which is my primary place I go to find items. So I'm going to click pre-owned because most of the ties I find are going to be used. I'm going to keep the material the same way, the pattern, width, length, style, all the same. Format, doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to touch that. Location, I'm going to click US, just because I want to find items that have a relevant currency. You don't have to do that, because some items you will find that are only sold like internationally. Maybe it's like made in Italy, and it's not really over here a lot, so it could help you eventually. But for this example, I'm just going to do US only. Price, I'm going to set it so ties only appear if they sold for $20 or more. And the reason I'm doing that as well is so I can find items you know, easily that are selling for a pretty good profit margin instead of having to you know, go through all the ones that are only selling for 5 or 10 bucks. And let's see, is there anything else? Yep, I'm going to click sold listing so I only find items that have sold. It is good to also go through it under the completed listings to get a better feel for like the sell through rates and um, just you know just to get a better idea of how often they're selling so I'm just checking the comments one more time on my other computer to see if there's anyone in the chat to shout out and then we're gonna get into it Sam Zaki sup right gain Zaki Shan in the house what is going on Michelle Wood I worked my regular job today I need to list inventory for the next few days 
Yeah, definitely get on it, Michelle. Uh, listing is key, and it's really the main ingredient in the success formula. We got RDEL444. What's up, Steve? Nothing much. Just about to do some research. Cool toads. Man, we got the big dog in the house. Hit the Q&A in the left-hand side before you go live. All right. Yeah, someone was telling me that the other day. I'll... Uh, I'll definitely do that next time so it's easier to interact with you folks. But I'm uh, glad Cool Toads in the, is in the house. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, definitely check him out. He also has a, um, a hangout group as well every Friday. I believe it's called the, the Toadcast. So uh, glad you're in the house again. All right, let's get into some research. Looks like we have a Gianni Versace silk tie that sold $149.99. Wow. Looks like they took a best offer because there's a line going through the price. Let's see how much that sold for. Got to hit the print button. It'll show you how much it sold for. Best offer, hundred dollars. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Vintage Gianni Versace silk tie, Baracco and purple print, made in Italy. Let's see what made this tie sell for so much. I know the brand. First of all, the brand's really the big deciding factor. But it looks like it's got a cool little floral design. The picture isn't all that elegant. I think it's just the brand and the, the design. It looks nice. Check out the listing. 100% silk, excellent condition. Very nice. We got a Ralph Lauren polo tie. It looks like it's got some nice diagonal stripes going down. 39 bucks. Let me know in the comment section as well. Do you guys sell ties? Do you have any tips for anybody you know who's watching the video? Any pointers? Is it all about brand or is it material? Is it the design? If you sell ties, what do you believe to be the main factors in selling a tie for a you know substantial price? Definitely let me know in the comments. There's that tag. <clears throat> Everybody knows that tag by now. And also when I'm going through these ties. Keep an eye out for, like I said, the designs, the colors. Look at the title area. See what they're using for keywords, even though there's nothing really in here. Take a look at the sizes. Take a look at the way they're taking the pictures, all the different ways. Take a look at the listings. See what they're doing for their listings because, I mean, this is really what it's all about. When you're doing research, you don't want to just research brands. You want to research the price points, the keywords, the styles, the materials. Take a look at you know how they're making their listing. It's all very important, and uh, you know sometimes you got to look past the brand to uh, you know get a really nice selling price. We got a Keton. I'm not sure if that's a kitten. I'm not. A I don't know how to pronounce it. K I T O N. It's a very high end brand right there. Seventy four ninety nine. Looks like we got a Fendi silk tie. Wow, here's another one of those um, Gianni Versace ties. Looks like it was for $169.99, but it says $45 one bid. Pretty nice right there. We got a Gucci tie, $24.99. Burberry, you can just tell based on the design. Looks like we got a lot of two silk neckties. All Jerry Garcia, blue, emerging elephant, wired cross rads. Looks like we got some interesting keywords in there. Are there different styles of ties? Like I see the word necktie in there. How many different types of ties are there? I know there's a bow tie, there's a necktie, which I guess is just the traditional one. Are there like a lot of different types of ties? Because again, if you're just tuning in, folks, I have sold a few ties in the past, not many, but it is a area I'm looking to get into, and I really am not an expert when it comes to this. I mean, I have a little bit of knowledge with the brands and whatnot. But again, I'm not sure about like the different styles and types of ties. It's something I'd definitely be interested in learning about in the comments if you folks have any knowledge. Nice design. Jerry Garcia is the tag. I've heard of that before, and I've studied it before, and I noticed that some of them do well. Others don't do as well. I'm not sure really what the characteristics are to look out for, but um, it looks like it's got a cool little swirly design. $21.99, which isn't bad at all, especially if you have weigh-in pays in your area. Get these things for 30 to $0.50 cents each. <clears throat> Here's another um, collection of Jerry Garcia ties. It looks like $33.95 for six. Here we got some Briani ties. Briani all silk neckties made in Italy, a lot of eight. 
Are these all the same brand? Because I'll I watch you inside before you go live. All right. Yeah, someone was telling me that the other day. Sorry, I just hit the play button on my other computer. Um, let's check this out. Are these all Briani ties? Because I would have thought if you know, because Briani is a very high-end Italian brand, I would have thought that it would have brought in a lot more money than that. Let me check it out. Briani, all silk neckties, made in Italy, lot of eight. Wow. See, I don't know if I would have lotted these all together because that's such a high-end brand. Yeah, but it looks like they're all Briani. Keep your eye out for that brand for sure. Dress shirts, suits, you know, polo shirts. If they have that in polo shirts, they might. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> anything Briani sells, but I'm, I'm very surprised that it only brought in $66. For eight ties, I would have thought these would have brought in twenty to thirty bucks a pop. But you know, this is why you do research. I'm not sure if there's any flaws. Flawless, all are in mint condition. Interesting. Definitely got to do some more research on that. But still, I mean, sixty-six bucks. You know, if you get these things for a few bucks each, there's definitely some room for profit. Here's another huge lot of ties, neckties, lot of thirty-five to wear, crafts repurposed, some designer, most polyester. 42 bucks for 35 ties. See, I'm not sure where these sellers are getting all these ties from. Are they, you know, they, they can't be getting them from the thrift store unless their particular thrift store runs some crazy deals. Because in my area, I can't get ties for less than $1.99 at most places. <clears throat> Only place I'd be able to get it cheaper is the Way and Pay Goodwill, which is where they charge you per per pound, but it's like an hour away from me, so not sure, you know, how these folks are getting these items. It looks like this person is a seller, James uh, K714. They do have over 7,000, almost 8,000 feedback, so I'm sure they're a reseller, maybe auctions or maybe a, uh, a sale, or a closeout sale. I'm not sure how they'd get that many ties that cheap, but uh, 42 bucks right there. Let me check the comments real quick on my other computer and uh, shout some people out, see if there's any questions see how people are enjoying this uh, hangout and if you guys are enjoying these hangouts I always ask you to please hit the like button you know show some support it's the best way for me to gauge you know if you guys are interested in these videos or if you're not I mean if you don't like them feel free to leave a comment in below and say Rakin come on man these these videos are worthless they're pointless but if you do like them smash that like button you know leave a comment say what's up let me know how your day's been because you know personally I enjoy making these videos I research regardless if it's live being recorded or not but you know I have had a good response from these videos recently a lot of interaction a lot of people saying thanks Steve you helped me to learn some new brands or the next day they say I found that brand that you talked about so you know hit that like button let me know in the comments but uh, let me see what is happening JG Safari one I'm in here too glad to have you here Rusty Shackelford in categories on the left, they have six different style categories. All right, I'm going to check that out in a second. Let me check that out now, see what you're talking about, Rusty. <clears throat> All right. All right, so here's the style part. Let's see what they got for styles. All right, they have ascot. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Bowtie, cravat. Cummerbund, necktie, necktie set, not specified. All right, so it looks like there's one, two, three, four, uh, five different styles. This looks like maybe it's a set with like the necktie and something else, and then this is just not specified. So definitely have to do some more research. That's definitely a good um, idea for a future video once I learn what the differences are. If anybody knows the differences between these five uh, different styles right here, Definitely leave them in the comment section below. I would so appreciate that. But regardless, if you don't, it's cool. I'll do some research after, maybe make a video. Let me get back in the comments, see what's happening over here. We got Mike M out of subject. How many eBay accounts do you list and sell? I currently have three. Not sure an eBay store is more convenient than uh, having one account. I have a few. Um, I'm, I'm mostly active on one. I do sell a few other types on the other ones, and I am looking to diversify a little more just because... You know, I'm putting these videos out here, and um, you know, you never know if you make an enemy for one reason or another. Or even if you're not like uh, on YouTube or putting yourself out there, it's probably a good idea to have a few just in case. I'm not sure what the rules are though. If you get shut down on one, will they shut the other one down? Maybe because it's connected to your IP address. But um, I do know people who have different accounts because maybe they specialize in suits on one, and then another they use electronics. I don't really think it's a huge uh, deal. Like maybe I don't think it's really going to make that big of a difference. But again, um, I don't really have much experience with that, so I could be wrong. 
Prime Find, I just bought my first tie today, Robert Talbot Silk. Did you just sell one? If not, I'm mistaken. Yeah, I did sell one the other day. It was uh, a Robert Talbot, I believe, the, the Rochester version, and that sold for 30 bucks. It had nice polka dots, cool color, and I was only in that for a few bucks, so that worked out well. Um, let's see who else we got in the house. All right, that looks like that's it for now, so I'll keep going down the, uh, the line. Let's see what else we got that sold. We got a Hermes tie. It's another high-end brand. I believe it's Italian, but I could be wrong. Looks like these things are selling left and right. Twenty-five, seventy-four, ninety-nine. Look at the design. Very nice design. Here we got a Brooks Brothers tie that sold for twenty forty-nine. Another Briani. See, here's one that sold for. It looks like it was an individual one. Remember, I was showing you guys that list of that lot of six or that lot of eight that sold for what, like sixty-six? It looks like this is just a lot of one. And it sold for 72. So that's what I was saying. I thought, you know, they kind of undercut themselves a little bit. That might have been a good opportunity to uh, pick up and flip. Let's see how many people we got viewing this video right now. 32 viewers. Awesome. Let me know, guys, how your night's going. Any sales today? Did you sell anything really cool? Anything very, you know, high end? Anything really profitable? Let me know how the sales have been going. We got a rugby Ralph Lauren tie, twenty-three bucks. Another Hermes tie, another one, eighty-four ninety-nine Hermes tie. If I'm pronouncing that correct, who knows? Let's see, cherry red mountains. That's a cool looking tie right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just an interesting theme, an interesting design to it. Just unique. And, uh, you know, the unique stuff really seems to sell well. 100% silk, Paris. Here's a Thomas Pink tie. That's a cool looking tie. $34.99. That definitely looks high quality. I believe that's a London brand. <clears throat> yep. 100% silk. It's got the, the. I'm not sure if that's considered polka dots. Usually the polka dots I thought were like bigger, but. At any rate, 100% silk. Take a look at the pictures. I mean, it doesn't look like the greatest picture. I, can, I think I can definitely put one together a lot better, and I think you folks could too. But uh, still $34.99, which is not a bad uh, you know, flip if you get it for a few dollars. Here we got another Ralph Lauren tie. Got a cool little geometric pattern, $24.99. Briani. Here's another brand. I'm not. I'm not sure if I ever heard of it. For For Nassetti, Milano, Valeri. <laughs> I don't know. Let's check this out. Let's see what the uh, tags looking like. Seventy eight bucks though. Very nice necktie. It's got the whole sailing type of theme going on here. Very nice design. For Nassetti looks like to be the brand Milano made in Italy. Not sure what any of this other stuff means. Valeri. If you guys know, definitely let me know in the comments. But uh, definitely an interesting brand that I'd like to look up more. I feel like I just saw this brand the other day. You guys, you guys ever been in that situation where you're you're doing research on eBay and you find a brand and you're like, wait a second, I think I just passed that brand up the other day. I know firsthand when I was just getting started, and uh, you know there was no 101 killer clothing brands out there. There were you know not a lot of people talking about you know what they were buying and selling in terms of clothes. So often, you know, I would, you know, go through a bunch of brands and pass them all up because I was only looking for a few brands. I was new. I didn't have a lot of knowledge. I was looking for the Pendletons, the territory ahead. And a few months would pass, and, you know, I'd learn about a brand while researching, and I'd say, wait a minute. I passed that up. I passed that up. That was only $3, and it could have sold for 100 So, I mean, it's like, uh, it's like deja vu. It's crazy sometimes. But I feel like I saw this brand the other day. Here's another brand I'm not sure if I heard of. I think I actually researched this the other day in one of the live videos, actually. Vitaliano Pancaldi. I know that is definitely pronounced wrong. You guys, I know you're laughing at me. You need to stop. $125. Look at that design. That's pretty crazy right there. It seems like the crazy designs with any type of clothing accessory or clothing in general just seems to bring in some good profit. You know, some brands better than others, but $125. Interesting design. I like their background. Look at the background paper they have or whatever. Really nice. I mean, that's a hot shot picture right there. That looks awesome. See, after seeing a cool picture like that and just like 
I could just tell they, you know, put some effort into the presentation. I would probably go into the seller's store and just do some research and see what they're selling because um, when I see an interesting photo, and I, if I was to guess, I'm going to guess they have a nice listing as well. Let's see if I'm right. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's nothing spectacular, but very clean. But um, I go into the store and just check out what they're selling because you know it seems like they're really reputable and they know what they're doing. You never know what you can learn by uh, spying on the competition. Stefano Ricci or Ricci, Ricci, I don't know. Thirty nine ninety nine. Here's another uh, necktie. Again, another very clean photo. I love the white background. If I was to guess, these people have a lot of experience as well. And yep, thirty five thousand plus feedback that is pretty amazing right there I wish I, I hope I could get to that type of feedback one day I think I'm at 1800 feedback on my eBay account that'll be a few years before I get to 35,000 let me know in the comment section how many feedback do you folks have on your eBay account I'd be very curious let's see who we can find who has the most feedback I'm at 1800 let's see if you guys could beat that I'm sure somebody's kicking my butt right now with feedback I've only been doing it for a few years but I'll leave your feedback number in the comments. I'm going to check the comments in a few minutes and see what we can find. We got a Dolce & Gabbana tie, 25. I would have thought that would have went for more. Here we got an Ermini Gildo Zegna, 2003 tie, 4498. Another beautiful looking tie. I like the color. Cool design. It looks like it's made out of silk. Very nice. Let's see how that's looking. Patek Philippi. Not sure what that means whatsoever. 100% <laughs> silk, blue, made in Italy. All right, so I've listed a few ties before, and it seems like there's two main measurements that you want to include. The dimensions are the width and the length, and the length runs from, you know, from end to end, and the width is usually from, you see where the, um, you see where it's going straight down, it kind of curves off and like forms like a little diamond point. I usually, right above the Ermini Gildo Zegna, about two inches up, I'll usually measure across there for my um, for my width. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the correct way to do it. I definitely need to research more how to measure ties. But I believe that's how you measure the width. Let me check out the comments and see what's happening with everybody. See if we got any cool uh, questions or maybe somebody answered... Um, what the different styles were and gave a definition. That would be awesome. Up to 15 likes. I appreciate that. 35 people watching. If you like these videos, hit that like button. The Bonafide Hustler in the house. Raken, hello, good buddy. What is going on? My good friend, my partner in the green room. Been killing it, man, with your bikes. You've been killing it with the antique booth. An awesome hustler right there. I'm sure you're all subscribed to him. you got to check out the Bonafide Hustler. He's the guy who pretty much got me started selling on eBay. He, man, I was new. I had no clue what I was doing. And I, I started off with bikes, and he was helping me out. I'd post a picture on his Facebook. He used to get back to me and um, still gets back to me, but he would get back to me and, uh, you know, tell me what it was worth. And, you know, from there I kind of made my own way with clothing, but the Bonafide man, he is an awesome guy right there. Very genuine person and he's always willing to help. A lot of knowledge and he actually just released his latest book, Flip That. Shh. Can't say the actual word, but you should know what I'm talking about. Flip That. Beep. But uh, awesome book. I just did a review on it, so check that out on my channel. I mean, really an awesome book, a motivating book, an inspiring book, a book that'll that'll help you to get you out of your seat and get you moving in the right direction. I mean, a lot of information, and I think it's like, I think it was 137 pages, so it's full of content, 17 chapters, and um, there's actually a 20% promotion going on right now on my um, on my um, <clears throat> the latest video on my YouTube channel. I couldn't even think what I was saying. But uh, it's 20% off of his Smashwords version for the ebook, so it brings it down to like $15.99. Definitely worth the investment. Check that out. Let's see who else we got in the house. We know Hank. Know you want to know about clothes, but I sold a lot of golf golf club repair items. I purchased at a yard sale, paid $125, sold four of the items for $65, but have the repair machine not listed yet. Yeah, could go for $300. Also... A lot of smalls with it. Bought the guy's shop block, stock, and barrel. Awesome right there. That is awesome. Man, I'm, I'm down here all the finds you guys come across. I don't care if it's clothing or not, man. I love hearing you know, the different items you guys are finding and selling. 
Mike M says, I got a Burberry plaid shirt, but the serial number tag is missing. You think it's worth anything? I could. I think I should just wear it and call it a day. Um, I mean, if it's real, it's real. I would definitely post it in some Facebook groups, see what they think about it, because I'm really not the best when it comes to authenticating items. Go to the website, try to verify it somehow, but if you have a feeling it's going to cause a problem or it's not worth, you know, getting potentially thrown off eBay if someone wants to start a claim and, you know, put you through the whole process, then just keep it. You'll look good, man. You'll be rocking a Burberry shirt. Hearts Pickers, a.k.a. Hearts Motor Company. Come on, man. You told me you were going to bed. What are you doing in the comment section? <laughs> Ronnie over at uh, Hearts Motor Company slash Hearts Pickers. Man, he is an amazing seller of clothing. Taught me a lot. Consider him to be one of my mentors. Definitely check him out. He's got some awesome haul videos and some other different types of videos on his channel as well. So check him out. Hearts Pickers. We got Dre 1211, sold a Hermes tie for $29.99 a few days ago. Had some wear. That's why I sold it for that price. Otherwise, I could have sold it for more. Today, I bought two Brooks Bros ties, one Donald Trump tie, and one Robert Talbot tie. Let me know how you do um, with the Donald Trump tie, Dre, because I've seen them before and I've passed them up. Maybe we'll come across them on... Uh, you know, on the sole listings and, uh, you know, see how they're doing. But very interested to know how you do. Brett McLean, have you heard of Horton Profits? Now, Horton Profits is an awesome guy, man. He's got some good information. He's, do he's doing his thing, you know. He's I know he's uh, he's somewhat new, but he's got he's got a lot of good, you know, information. He's got a big heart, so I support Horton Profits all day. We got George Eubanks. I'm at 2995, 2,900. And 95 feedback on eBay. So he already got me beat. George is the top dog so far. Daniel Hernandez got five feedback. Just started about four weeks, uh, four weeks ago. So you're on your way to uh, you know getting some more feedback. Keep your head up, my friend. We got Brad Honage. I know a cummerbund goes around your waist when wearing a tuxedo. That was a style of a tie. Definitely a funny, a funny name right there. But uh, thanks, Brad. I appreciate that. So it goes around your waist when wearing a tuxedo. I have to check that out. We got Brad again. Patek Philippe is a really high-end watch company. No idea they made ties. Wow. Thanks again for that. I appreciate that. I wasn't sure what that meant on that uh, Ermini Gildo Zegna tie. Anna Vasquez, by the way, that Briani tie was an eBay auction. Also picked up a, can't pronounce this, YSL tie, a Christian Dior tie, and a Liberty of London tie for 99 cents each at the thrift store. Yeah, those Liberty of London ties are really nice. Like, they have really nice designs. They're colorful, and um, it seems like some of them are doing well. Others don't seem to do as well because I have studied them up on the uh, sold listings, but I definitely got to look, look into them some more. Michelle Wood, I'm tempted to run to Nordstrom's and ask for the salesman in the department to explain the differences for me. Years ago, I had a salesman explain braces to me. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not a bad idea. You should you should break out the cell phone and record it, throw it on YouTube. That'd be definitely an awesome video right there. RDE, uh, looks like L444. I bought some ties that were nice brand names, but haven't had any luck selling them. Yeah, so that's why we're doing that research. Hopefully, we're helping you out. Hopefully, we're helping each other out to, you know, find those ties that sell because, you know, it's easy to find a lot of inventory that doesn't sell. It's a lot harder to find the inventory that does sell. Let's see, we got Cool Toad Skinny Tie is a type. Awesome. We got Anna Vasquez. What's up, Steve? Nice to catch you live. Guess what auction I just won? Briani Men's 100% Silk Tie Made in Italy. Superb condition for two forty seven. That's a score. You'll make some money there. Michelle Wood, they may be pricing them up here and there and just throwing them in a lot box to sell all together. I think she's referring to that Briani tie lot. Also, ladies, buy lots of ties to use for crafts. I don't, but some do, LOL. I don't sell. I just hoard, Cool Toad says. Michelle, I refuse to say YSL. I'll, okay, fine. If you're going to give me a dollar, you're going to have to hit me up later. I'll give you my PayPal account. I'm going to try to pronounce this. Yeah. <laughs> Yves Saint Laurent. Oh my God, I am so bad at pronouncing. I am slow in some aspects of life. I admit it, guys. Um, let's see what else. It looks like that's it for the comments section. Let's get back to the uh, items that sold. Wow, what's this? AK 18 karat gold Solka tie. What's this? 49.99. That looks crazy. Look at the color. Look at the design of that. Wow. 
what's the brand? Is it Solka? I feel I feel like I just researched that the other day. Solka, S U L K A, limited edition pure Solka tie with 18k gold. Lame or Lame, L A M E. Not sure what that is. Wow, that's pretty freaking cool. Really nice uh, eBay template right here. That looks great. Limited edition, necktie, black and gold, 15 inches long, 3 inches at the bottom. Awesome. Yeah, I would definitely look into this uh, seller and see what they're selling because they look like they uh, got some good stuff in their store. What else do we got here? We got a lot of five assorted men neck, men's neckties, 27 45 That looks interesting. Looks like a bunch of McDonald's ties. I think I've seen one of these before and passed it up. What do we got here? Look at that one tie, this one right here. That is freaking awesome. We got another one. Who is this guy? What's his name again? I don't even remember all the McDonald's characters. I know there's Ronald McDonald. What is this guy's name? I feel like I... Oh, to the tip of my tongue. Oh, if you know, leave it in the comments. Twenty-seven forty-five. Pick these up for a dollar each. You put some money in your pocket for sure. We got a barnyard, Ferragamo, gold, copper, blue rabbit, cat hens. Look at these keywords this person's using. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Andy International. Over twelve thousand feedback. Check out this tie. Look at the 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 interesting little theme. Was it a rooster, a pig, or a, I don't know what that is. Is that a hamster or something? <laughs> I don't know. A rooster. They got some crazy things out there, though. All right, let's take a look at the tie. Oh, this is Salvatore Ferragamo, if I'm pronouncing that correct. A very very high end brand. I flipped a few uh, shoes, women's shoes in this brand. I flipped a few men's dress shirts in this brand. Definitely a very high-end brand. Take a look at the prices of uh, some of the shoes is, that this brand is selling for. Tommy Bahama, 22. Another Hermes. Vineyard Vines, a wonderful brand. Canale, another terrific brand. Briani. A lot of 30 vintage neck. Looks like necktie skinny. So like Cool Toad says, I guess there's a skinny version, and then there's maybe a thicker version, which is the necktie. Not really a great picture, kind of fuzzy, can't really see the colors that well. $75.99, looks like they took a best offer for, I'm going to guess 40 65 not bad. I mean, it's only 2 bucks and change average per tie, but just imagine if you picked up this whole lot at a weigh and pay for... I don't know, six bucks. Definitely can make some money. I'm curious to see what brands are in here. Maybe it's just a bunch of random ones. Mad Men style. It's an awesome show. Retro, mod, skinny, narrow, various lengths, lengths, widths, and materials. See pigs, quite a few are silk. At least one Bu, Brumel, Wembley, and others. I have no clue what brands those are, but they must be uh, a certain type of style or a brand name. Excellent condition, no holes ripped, smoke free. Cool. Giotti Versace. Here's some Burberry ties. On to page two. We are rocking and rolling. Hermes, Hermes, Hermes. Wow, this brand really sells like crazy. Here's another lot of the, the Jerry Garcia. It's actually a mixed lot with a Robert Talbert. Talbot, Tommy Hilfiger. I'm getting tired, guys. I can't even talk English. Here's an interesting brand. What's this? Gossamar Barba? 63 bucks. Wow. Is that the brand? Let's see what the pictures show. Barba Nepali. Huh. It's got a nice little pink color, floral design. Definitely put that on your list. I'm going to research that after as well. 63 bucks. That's crazy that a tie will go for that much. I don't even know. I don't even think I've ever bought a brand new tie. How much do ties go for new in the store? Like, what's the range? Let's say maybe a lower end brand like Club Room versus, let's say, a brand like uh, Vineyard Vines. Like, what do these things go for a brand new in the stores? That's definitely something interesting to research as well. 
Let me check the comments real quick, see what's going on in here, shout some people out. If you guys like these videos, hit that like button, show some support, let me know that you are interested in these videos. I'll definitely make some more of them. Looks like we got 32 viewers. I'm glad that people are, you know, sticking around and watching. I'm just going into the comment section real quick on my other computer to see what's going on. Yeah, Bonafide says, flip that beep. There could be kids watching. You never know. We got Cool Toad saying, what up to the Bonafide? Okay, so Bonafide's trying to teach me how to pronounce it. Yves Saint Laurent. Does that sound a little better? Yves Saint Laurent. Try to say and type it. Very difficult, the Bonafide says. We got Michelle Wood saying, what up to the Bonafide? She bought bought his ebook last night. Well, I'm glad that people are buying it. I know that there's a wealth of knowledge in there. I've read it personally, and it helped me out a lot. And I'm actually, you know, been doing this for a few years. So if you're new, I mean, it's a must. It's got to be it's got to be something in your on your bookshelf. The Hamburglar. That's who it was. Rusty told me that um. It was that McDonald's tie, the guy I was trying to figure out, the Hamburglar. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's him. He used to steal hamburgers, right? We got uh, We Know Hank in the house. I already read that comment. Prime Find said, found two pairs of Robin's jeans today. Have you ever sold, found those? If so, how much? I actually ran across a pair last week, but I passed on it. I'm not sure why I did. I think it had a flaw, but I believe that brand does pretty well. I don't think I've ever sold that brand before. But I am on the lookout for it and definitely got to research them some more. Let me know what types of jeans you like to buy within that brand. Any any type of style or any color or any you know interesting design that you'll you'll buy with that brand. Let me know, Prime Find. Just scanning through the um, the comment section. Michelle Wood, 240 feedback, but 220 as a buyer. So at least I have lots of experience as a buyer. Typical woman, shopping, shopping, shopping. No, I'm just kidding, but still a good amount of feedback. Let's see what else. We got Terry, T-U-V-E in the house. I found three Ermini Gildo Zegna ties. I think I'm overpriced at 129.76 or best offer. Uh, for three, so that's about a $43.22 average. Does that sound right? Something around there. But um, 43 average per tie for an Ermini Gildo Zegna. Um, if you're lotting it, might be a little overpriced, but you know, if you have a crazy design, a beautiful silk tie, you know, maybe you can get it. Try doing some research on the sold listings and see, you know, what others have sold within that brand. You know, in terms of lots, and just see if others are, you know, getting that price. If they are, then maybe you want to keep it there. But if, you know, if it's a little too high and you don't see others selling it that high, they might want to consider bringing it down. Terry also said they found a Salvatore Ferragamo tie, Ferragamo, whatever, uh, golf theme for 109.76. I believe they have it offered for. I'm not sure. I got to do some more research, but it sounds a little high. But you never know. Spooky said it's the ham. The Hamburglar, yep, we, we, Rusty already told me that, but uh, I appreciate that. The Hamburglar, you don't want to mess with the Hamburglar. All right, let's see who else we got in the house. PT Hustle, the Hamburglar, everybody knows it besides me. What's going on, PT? Glad to have you in the house. Hope things are going, w hope things are going well with you. Um, Anna Vasquez, thanks to you, I also recently bought a Hickey Freeman blazer and a Mountain Hardware cycling shirt. Yeah, definitely two really nice brands right there. Mountain Hardware, I love that brand. I actually just sold a Mountain Hardware short sleeve button front shirt the other day, pre-owned for $24.99. Um, might have been able to get a little more, but definitely a nice flip, only in that for $3.99, but nice finds right there. All right, who else we got? Hearts Picker says, uh, me and you just kill names. Yeah, we slaughter names. We don't. We got no respect for brand names whatsoever, Ronnie. Let's see who else. Brad is uh, coaching me with how to pronounce it. <laughs> Let's see. Hearts Pickers, 1325 feedback. Definitely a good amount of feedback right there. All right, I'm going to go through a few more ties, but then I'm going to wrap it up. Got to get some sleep. Looks like this Hangout's already been going on for about... I'm going to guess 40 minutes. I could be wrong. Let's see. Yep, 
Yeah, it's about 40 minutes or so. So I'm going to wrap it up. Let's go through a few more and uh, call it a night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, though. We got a Charvet, if that's how you pronounce it. Don't even listen to how I pronounce it. Just look at the name. S-H-A-C-H-A-R-V-E-T. Here's a tie. $29.99. That's a very high-end brand. I sold a shirt in that brand the other day. Here's some vintage ties. Silk Brooks Brothers lot. Wow, that's a huge lot. That's got to be 40 ties right there. Let's check that out. If you guys got a good source for finding cheap ties, maybe at the weigh-in pays or maybe your thrift stores for some reason have a deal going, I think there's definitely a really good opportunity. I was just talking to Ronnie, Hearts Motor Company, earlier on Facebook, and we were talking about ties, how we're trying to get into them, we're interested in them, but sometimes uh, we just don't have the patience, especially me. Sometimes I don't have the patience to go through all the ties, especially at some of the prices over here at like Savers where they want like five to ten bucks. It could be a little time consuming going through the ties. And uh, for some reason, the way the Goodwills have the ties set up over here in Connecticut, like it's, it's, it always turns into a huge mess. Every time I go through the ties, they all fall off the hangers, and then I have to pick them all up or else I feel bad. So sometimes it just turns into a, a crazy mess, like I said. Raking profit just tears through those ties sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely potential to make some money there. Looks like this is the lot of ties. Brooks Brothers, I'm not sure if they said how many. Okay, a lot of 50. No reserve. Many are perfect. Some need a cleaning. And I think we talked about this in the last hangout. We were talking about how to clean ties, and someone said that you shouldn't put them in the in the um, washing machine because a lot of them are like you know silk and whatnot, and it could ruin them. And I think someone suggested one of the best ways is to steam them. So maybe you take your your portable steamer and you kind of just steam it, not really close to it, but maybe a few inches away, and that'll kind of you know clean it clean it a little bit. You know, especially if you want to not, you know, pay the money to get it dry cleaned, even though it's probably not too expensive. But that could be a method that works. I'm just not sure how well it's going to clean it. Here's another Ferragamo tie, $59.99. Best offer accepted for something a little lower. Here's a nice Ralph Lauren polo tie, Ermini Gildo Zegna. Here's a bow tie for $29.99. Let's check that out. I've never sold a bow tie before. I don't even think I see bow ties at the thrift store ever. Okay, here's a Ralph Lauren. <laughs> you can see the pony right there in the center of the bow tie. $29.99. Very cool. Do people even wear bow ties anymore? I don't think I've seen a person wearing a bow tie in a long time unless it's super formal. Fits neck size 14 to 19. First class male. I'm sure it only weighs two ounces at most. It's probably like a dollar forty to send off a necktie. Can't be too expensive. Here's another brand that seems to be something I've never heard of. New and Lingwood. That could be the brand. New and Lingwood. Shirt makers and can't read that. London E N Cambridge. Twenty bucks. It looks like they were offering it for twenty five. They ran a twenty percent sale and snagged twenty bucks. The seam store. Almost 4,000 feedback, 100% positive feedback. It looks like they got the hassle-free returns going on here, which is something I don't do or don't implement into my business, but I may eventually. I know a few people are using it, and it's it's got its pros and its cons. 20 bucks though. It looks like it's got some mushrooms on it and rabbits. Kind of a trippy little tie right there. Even got the watermark in his pictures or his or her pictures. Wesso 0119. 20 bucks though. Interesting. Definitely have to put that on my list. 57 length. 3.5 inches wide. 100% silk. New and Lingwood. Check that brand out. Here's another lot. Wow. Tie lot. Ferragamo, Hermes, Nikki, Briani, J Press. I just picked up a blazer in that brand today. Reese, Richie, Burberry, Solka, Armani, Eaton. Those are some high-end brands right there. What do you guys think this uh, this whole lot sold for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like there's 16 ties. Some high-end brands. It was offered for $300. What do you think this lot sold for? I'm going to guess $210.
let's check it out and see what it sold for. Two fifty. I was close. That's pretty good right there, though. For sixteen ties, that's about a uh, like a fifteen dollar average, something around there. Definitely a nice flip right there. Probably over a thousand dollars in retail to buy those things new. Another Salvatore Ferragamo tie, Burberry Gucci. What's this? MCI Classic Necktie, yellow. Heritage Golf, 100% silk, free shipping, 2470. What's the MCI Classic? Looks like it's some type of sport. Is that golf or? I can't tell what the guy or girl has got in their hand. Okay, I see golf actually right here. The Heritage, something of golf. I see. All right, so it's golf. MCI Classic must be maybe a type of tournament that happened or something like that. Twenty four seventy though. Again, you know we're seeing a common theme. These, the themes. If it's got a theme, especially animals or something to do with sports or you know a character, maybe with McDonald's or something. It seems the theme stuff seems to do pretty well. So if you ever see anything very specific, very niche, a theme that just seems that you know, maybe collectors might be interested in it. It may be worth, you know, picking up and uh, trying to sell, especially if it's in a respectable brand. I'm not sure if this is the brand, MCI Classic, or what the deal is behind this, but um, 24 bucks. But I'm going to head out in about five more minutes, so if you have any more comments, you want me to shout you out, or you want to plug your Facebook um, group or your page, or you want to plug your YouTube channel, you know, I'm down for that. I don't mind people plugging their stuff. <clears throat> I'm here to, uh, you know, help grow the community. You know, the more of us, the stronger, the better, and we could all educate ourselves and, you know, help each other out. So feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what's happening. Again, can't say it enough. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. You know, share it. You know, anything you could do to show some support, I would definitely appreciate it. Here we got another bow tie by Ralph Lauren Polo. That's a cool bow tie. Some different colors. Looks like a checks and plaids type of uh, design going on there. Twenty six bucks. Here's a vintage uh, lot of two. It looks like the Beatles. I'm not sure if it's vintage. It says that though. I just came across a Beatles tie today, and I passed it up <clears throat> or yesterday. Hmm. Is Beatles the brand? Let's see if we can find a tag. All right, so the Beatles, they came out with a, a tie line, I guess. I just passed one up the other day, and, um, you know, I figured it, it didn't look that great. It didn't, you know, have that amazing of a design or anything, so I just figured it wasn't worth any money, but maybe this brand is popular, the Beatles brand. I know the band is popular, so there's a good chance that anything that's associated with it could also bring in a pretty decent value, but this lot of two sold for 23 bucks plus $3 to ship. And it looks like there's 10 bids, so uh, there was definitely some interest in this uh, this lot. Looks like they don't show the uh, the bidder's identities for protection purposes, but uh, very interesting right there. Twenty seven viewers still in the house at midnight over in CT. Not sure what part of the uh, country or part of the globe you're from. Um, but it's midnight over here. All right, let's check out one more. Let's find one new brand that I that I don't know of. Maybe you know it. <clears throat> let's find one more brand that I you know haven't heard of before, and then we're gonna call it quits for tonight. All right, here's a, a brand that I don't recall ever studying. The brand is, oh, God, how am I going to pronounce this? Bavagari? Oh, my gosh, I am losing my mind. B-V-L-G-A-R-I. Actually, I feel like I've researched this before, but I'm not sure. This will be the last brand. Extra large, cream, orange, green, blue, boats, horizontal, striped men, silk, necktie. Interesting title right there. Very small spot on tie, and it's still brought in 33.55, 12 bids, so there was definitely some interest. Shipping out of Houston, Texas. Maybe they know the Bonafide Hustler. MBIU Sales Company. Interesting. I'll have to definitely look at this brand a little more. But uh, that's going to do it. I'm going to go into the comment section. 
one last time and um, shout some people out, answer some questions or whatnot, and then I'm going to head to sleep. I'm definitely getting tired right now. You can probably hear it in my voice. But I'm going to check the comments on my other computer and uh, see what's happening. 21 likes. I appreciate that. We've got about 30 people in the house. feel privileged to have you folks here right now studying the sold listings with me. It's not the most uh, exciting thing to do in the world, but it definitely is like putting future profits in your pocket. All right, I'm trying to load these comments on my other computer. All right, there we go. Let's see if we got anybody new in the house. Bolo Thrifting left a comment. Let's see what this is all about. And a link. Speaking upon the MCI Classic. All right, my other computer just froze. I am not sure what's going on with this. I just clicked on that link, Bolo Thrifting, and it just froze my whole computer. All right, sorry about that. I was going to go into the comments and shout some more people out, but um, I appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate you guys coming along in the journey, studying, you know, a bunch of ties, you know, researching with me, and uh, you know, potentially putting those future profits in your pocket. If you guys got any more questions or concerns, definitely, uh, you know, find me on Facebook at Rake and Profit, or you can reach out to me through YouTube at Rake and Profit. Definitely check me out there. I put up videos quite often throughout the week, just you know, taking you along with the journey, you know, things that I've learned and um, you know, stuff of that nature. All right, it looks like my computer actually unfroze, so I'm gonna see if I can shout some people out real quick. BTA, PPINIT. I don't know how to pronounce that. We bought three books titled The Illustrated London News Volume LXXI Hardcover. The three books are from 1877. How should I go about selling antique old books? One is in bad condition. The other two are in great condition. We picked them up from an old guy selling his house where we were doing a service call. Well, you could try selling it on either Amazon or eBay. Um, if you can't find anything on Amazon, you might want to make your own listing, but then again, it could sit forever. So eBay might be a better alternative, especially if it's got issues with, you know, the condition because people could be weird sometimes on Amazon with condition. So check the Amazon database to see if anyone else is selling it and see what prices they're going for. Also, refer over to eBay's sold or completed listings to see if these items have sold before and how often, and then kind of come up a price and a game plan from there. But uh, you know, the old books definitely can could do well. I don't really have a lot of experience with that. You might want to reach out to Picking Profits over on Facebook or face or um, YouTube as well. He's got a lot of experience with books. They also said, I forgot to mention, we started an Amazon business four days ago. We have sold many college textbooks so far. Yeah, I mean, the books are definitely selling well. I've been selling a lot of books. Um, not a ton, but you really get what you put into it. My mother's been doing really well on Amazon, selling a lot of books and you know DVDs and children's books. So Amazon's an excellent place to sell books for sure. It's the best place to sell books. Just scanning through the comments. I answered your question. <laughs> All right, seeing if there's anybody new. Justin Mertz is in the comment section. What is happening? He says, Steve, do you see this Patagonia monster? You are a Patagonia monster. I love Patagonia, one of my favorite brands. Tough to find sometimes, but one of the best items you can find in the Patagonia brand are the fleeces with a crazy design, 100% polyester, T-snap fleeces. They can bring you up to 100 to 200 bucks all day long. Dre, 1211, I see Jerry Garcia all the time at thrift shops. Does it sell? Well, I've seen a, we saw a few when we were going through the um, sold listings that sold. So it looks like they sell. Um, definitely you know, worth a little more time going into the sold listings to see what else is going on in that brand. But I, I, it sounds like they sell. Steve, you should give a bow tie a try. You can pull it off, PT Hustle says. Yeah, maybe in uh, maybe when I hit uh, 15,000 subscribers, I'll, I'll do a bow tie special. <laughs> All right. 
Michelle Wood says uh, bow ties are hot with high school girls right now. Let's see. All right, cool toads bouncing out about 20 minutes ago. Got to run, bro. Stay cool. You stay cool too, man. Keep up those uh, cool cool toad shows, man. We we enjoy watching them. Michelle Wood says, are you kidding me? The second best part of your videos is listening to you pronounce those names. Trust me. It's one of your strong points. You're making America giggle. Yeah. People are finding uh, humor in me pronouncing items, I can tell. Brad Honage, what groups do you use to authenticate? Keep hearing them mentioned, but no one drops any names. Um, Let's see. I'm going to go over to my Facebook group and shout out some groups that I'm a part of. Obviously, the Green Room is a great place. It's a uh, group that me, the Bonafide Hustler, the College Picker, and Retro Aficionado, we run that group, so you could always post it there. But if you're looking for some free groups, there's Stay at Home Moms Selling on eBay. That's run by Suzanne A. Wells, Stay at Home Moms Selling on eBay. I believe they have over 12,000 members. There is also, let's see what other groups am I a part of. Sellers, Helping Sellers on eBay and Amazon. That's another great group. We have the Thrifting Lounge. It's a new group that just came out. They've got about, I think they, they're coming up on 300 members. It's new, but definitely some really good resourceful people are in there. What's that other brand I'm thinking of? Those guys who got that TV show. If you know what that... If you guys are familiar with that group, what is it called? The, guy, the guys who got the new TV show, they have a really big group with like 8,000 people or maybe more. That's definitely a good group. But yeah, definitely check those groups that could definitely help you to uh, make some better buying decisions and uh, just answer questions and whatnot. Bolo Thrifting, we, we literally just made a YouTube to cross-promote almost 1,500 members. Need a shout-out, then we can link you to it. Yeah, check out Bolo Thrifting. Um, you know, I gotta I gotta look into it to see what they're all about. But um yeah, sounds like we got some interesting stuff going on over there. Dear Wesley too, might get them from storage auctions, volume builds up fast. All right, well uh, that sounds like that's it for the comment section. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys coming along. It looks like we still got how many people in the and the, the viewer, how much viewers do we have? 29 people still watching. So, again, I appreciate all the 29 people, uh, you know, sticking through the whole broadcast. Hope you guys learned some new, you know, ties and brands and styles and price points to focus on. So you can go out there to the thrift stores, the yard sales, garage sales, Facebook groups, Craigslist groups, or just Craigslist in general. Just find this stuff and buy it and sell it. You know, if you're going out there and you're looking, you're definitely going to find stuff. It's just a matter of what you're going to find based on the education that you already hold on to. So educate yourself, invest in yourself, research on a daily basis, and put yourself in a position to get lucky. That's really key. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to be a straight-A student to make money in this business. What you got to be or what you got to do is, you know, educate yourself and take action. That is key. Get yourself out there to those garage sales early morning. Head out to the thrift store a few times a day. Watch YouTube videos. Read articles. Educate yourself. Absorb, absorb, absorb. Apply it. Take action and you guys are going to start making some money. It's one step at a time. You know, you don't got to see everything at once. You just got to get started and start moving in that direction. Eventually, you're going to get to where you want to go. So, Again, appreciate it. Stay on the lookout for my latest program, Blazing Profits. should be out soon. A lot of really good information in terms of that program that's going to be able to help people to make money. I mean, it's a 275-page ebook with the program, 14 bonus videos, a cheat sheet of 99 brands to buy and sell, a bunch of bonus templates, maybe about three to four bonus interviews about 30 minutes each with clothing experts that are selling, you know, blazers, sports coats, and suits. But even if they're not selling those items, just sellers in general that have been around a block and know how to make money selling clothes and also some additional resources. So that should be out within probably within a month, maybe mid-June, but definitely latest by July 4th. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how much the program is going to cost probably somewhere between thirty and fifty dollars but I'm definitely gonna give a um, a reduced price for the people who you know follow me and probably do some some sort of pre-release or pre-sale so people could get it at an affordable price but a lot of information in there that can help you to make money selling blazers sports coats and suits that you know it's gonna help to raise your bottom line and you know bring you in higher price 
price points and margins. So uh, thanks again, you guys. Have a great night. And uh, keep on picking and making that money. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.